You know, you need to love the one you're with, which is you, <laughs> that will be with you throughout all of this. And you want to be comfortable in your own skin, in your own environment, because you know what? You created it. And the, and the fascinating and, and the, and the, and the uh, greatness of that is you have free will to change it too. Welcome to the Evolution of the Consciousness podcast. Love is spoken here with your host and guide, Michelle Carithers. Morning, morning, everybody. Evolution of the Consciousness. Love is spoken here. I'm Michelle Carithers. On this Saturday, November the 18th, 2023, in the place to be, baby, baby. So I hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificent, and marvelous because I am. I am doing fantastic, magnificently, and marvelous. And, you know, it's a, um, it's a cool morning, but you can, you, you can see it overcast and it's like, some type of film in the atmosphere, you know, or film in the environment, you know, like a, like something's blocking uh, the natural sunlight. It's probably because we have a lot going on in this city with, um, you know, they got some racing going on and gosh, trying to sign into this phone and yeah. Okay, cool. So, I just want to come on through on this Saturday morning before I get my day going to to put some sounds in your ear and hopefully to bring a smile to your face and let you know that there's a lot of things going on. There are a lot of things going on. And there's more things that are being pushed in the open than what you know is going on in the background. In most cases, and that's how it's always been, there's always been this hidden these hidden hands and everything, more so in the pyramid types, you know, in politicians and, and um, you know, in your working environment, in my former working environment, there's always been this need to have hidden agendas and, and have these little clandestine secret missions going on or these clandestine secret um, operations. It's just always something. So it makes it hard to sometimes discern. And I know a lot of people you know, are wondering, you know, what's next? What, ne you know, what's going to happen now? What's going to happen now? So I, and I urge you not to necessarily be so on your seat like that, meaning don't be on your seat waiting for something to happen, waiting for something to happen. Make sure you're doing everything you can that will happen in your life. Because at the end of the day, during these final hours of whatever we're going through, it's going to be about what you're doing and what you have done and what you have not done. So every morning I get up, I do what I got to do. I, I I do my routines. I make my bed, by the way. <laughs> and I and I do get up with uh, some enthusiasm because, I you know, I look forward to the day. I look forward to my day and what I can accomplish and what I can get done. And it's more so about increasing my knowledge base. You know, what do I know versus what I know? And I always want to make sure that I'm grounded in reality no matter what's going on in my life. And I'm not sucked into these, uh, these intentional distractions. If you're paying attention, you know, we're all getting intentionally distracted, especially on the social media platform where a lot of us spend our time, no matter what we say, uh, even though you may not be engaging in much of uh, this or that, a lot of people use the social media platform for their business, which is a good way to, you know, to market your business, to promote yourself. And I see no, I see no issue with promoting yourself as long as you have an intention and you have a purpose. Uh, I told you what my purpose is. My purpose is to stay on this social media platform and the social media atmosphere until I can put out some information, enough information for my youngins, my young ones that I love so much. And I do that for them just to put, you know, put some information out there for them. So when they do start researching and wanting to know what's really going on, whether it's in my world or in the world that they may not be aware of, you know, they'll be able to find it. So I enjoy that. I have no issues. And, you know, in the social media platform, if we had been uh, given the, the truth about it, I think a lot of people would have made proper decisions. But see, that's where we lack. We just don't get the, get the truth about anything. So it's a, it's a task and, and 
and attempting to un- uncover what is really going on. What are, what are they asking for? Why they're asking for this information? Why they're asking for that information? Like um, a few days ago, and I told you about what they're doing with the AI technology that gonna make it impossible for you to talk to someone live to get things resolved. So I'm concerned about that, especially if you are disabled in certain in a certain fashion where you you know you may not be able to, um, you know keep up with the technology because you you know you you're concerned about your health and your well being. So that's what that is what concerns me, especially when you know as people age, you know age in this environment, they're making it more and more difficult for you to get ask you know get uh, answers from someone, and more importantly sometimes to get your information and make sure it's accurate. So it's it's like you have to always be your own, uh, your own underdog, your own defender, your own protector, okay, and more especially your own lover. You know, you need to love the one you're with, which is you, <laughs> that will be with you throughout all of this. And you want to be comfortable in your own skin, in your own environment, because you know what? You created it. And the, and the fascinating and, and the, and the, and the uh, greatness of that is you have free will to change it too. You understand that? You have free will to change it. And that's where... A lot of uh, that's where free will is falling in the background of a lot of people. They just, they, you know, they they are, you know, they want to engage in conversation, and 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 keep keep stuff going and going and going and going on an entertainment basis. At that, I haven't heard anything. Well, first of all, I don't have any streaming service. I don't have any cable service. I just get my information from the internet, and I know that I discern that as best I can. But no one's saying anything about the war in Ukraine, okay? You know, uh, we we hear about the other one uh, that happens every two years, okay? That Israel and Palestine, that goes on every two years or so. And so I'm not necessarily um, giving any opinions about it. I just know that there is a time. It's always about the timing of things. And until we can recognize that we are being manipulated, indoctrinated, and to expect certain events to happen at certain times every so often. And it's because we just keep forgetting, forgetting, forgetting. We forget who we are, what we are, and why we are. So it's so important that, you know, if you choose to, you know, attempt to, you know, snap out of it and get a grip on your life and ask yourself, what have I done and what have I not done? to give me the results I have, especially if you don't like the results you have. Okay, well, ask yourself, what have I done? Okay, it's not your parents' fault. It's not your siblings' fault. It's not your family's fault, your neighbor's fault, your strangers. Okay, it's you. So be gentle when you ask those kind of questions about what did I do to bring me to this point in my life Especially, like I said, if you're not happy. Now, if you're happy like me, I ask the questions, uh, you know, I ask, okay, what else do I need to be made aware of in order to handle my situation in a proper fashion and, and take responsibility and accountability for what I'm doing? You know, I, I encourage myself. <laughs> That's why I say, um, I said this a while ago, I don't need motivation. I'm being real honest with you. I am motivated, you know, just to breathe. You know, I am enthusiastic, enthusiastic about my life. You know, I love, I love my inspiration. I love my muse. I love eye candy. I love abstract. You know, I, I mean, I put out a lot of videos about my personality and anybody that's been following me know that I am genuine and authentic. And I should, I tell you my good, bad, my ugly. Okay. The negative, the positive, the neutral. And I also tell you how to just let that all flow off of you and not make it a part of your thoughts because everything starts with the thoughts, everything. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, once again, read out a prayer because a lot of people love prayers. And I understand that. I can relate. You know, I grew up with prayers too, because like I said, prayers are, you're trying to connect to your spirit. 
How fascinating is that? You know, praying, striving to connect with my spirit. That is that is the ultimate goal, I would hope, for everyone, that you have this communication uh, between your spirit and your material consciousness. And that's thus the evolution of the consciousness, is you want a communication. You want to connect, reconnect, and you want to strive to reconnect with your spirit and bring yourself back, bring yourself back and uh, ground yourself, ground yourself. And that's so important during these times. Again, my spirit, I search for the way to you. I am filled with self-made worries and I am tired and exhausted. And therefore, I search for the way to you in order to rest. With all my errors and weaknesses, I search for the way to you. With your help, I will form myself according to the laws and recommendations. I am restless and unclean in my consciousness. Help me to eliminate the uncleanliness and the restlessness. Let me be in you, and may you be in me. Let me work in you, and may you work in me. Say that to your consciousness every day, and to, and, and 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 keep tabs on that and watch sense and feel what may be happening to you how you may be opening up an opportunity for you to reconnect and 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 love your spirit love your consciousness and love yourself as well as spread that to others evolution of the consciousness love is spoken here i'm michelle carillas Thank you so much for listening to the Evolution of the Consciousness podcast. Please make sure to leave us a review. If you wish to ask a question to Michelle, you can leave her an email at missmichellecarithers at gmail.com.